You guys see the website, you know the vibe, you know what time it is. Before I get into the whole season preview, I do wanna say one thing. Tomorrow morning, I'm gonna sign up for the LA in-store release. If I get a spot in line, and if this video gets 1,500 likes, I will fly to LA for the first week of Supreme. So if you guys would like to see that, if you guys wanna see me document that, of course, smash the like button down below. While you're down there, subscribe and turn on post notifications if you have not already. And of course, let me know in the comments what you think of this Supreme season. This video is brought to you by Privacy. I'll talk more about that in a moment, and of course, while you're down there, if you do want to check out the privacy link, make a quick five bucks. You can do just that. And you can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram's at the Starlife. It's T-H-E-S-T-A-R-R-L-I-F-E. -E. That'll be somewhere on the screen and in the description down below. But anyways, let's get to the video. What is up, you guys? Today is a good day because we are going to go over the Supreme Spring Summer. That's a lot of S's. Triple S's. 2020 lookbook slash preview. This is not necessarily my first reaction because I logged on to Instagram and the moment I logged on Instagram, I just see all these crazy things that I don't even know if they're real. I saw like Supreme Oreos. I saw like a Supreme, uh, I think it's a BB Simon Bell. I don't know if it's an official collaboration, but I haven't really Michael Phelps or like dived deep into the Supreme preview or the Supreme Spring Summer. <laughs> Excuse me season. Now, of course, Aerosmith will be the judges as to whether or not the season is fire or not. I really hope it's better than last season. Normally, I prefer fall winter seasons, but I'm not going to lie. Last fall winter season was kind of a letdown to me. Now, before we Michael Phelps into the preview, of course, this video is brought to you by Privacy. I'm not going to talk too much about that now, but later on in the video, I'll discuss how you can make a free $5. Yes, five buckarooskies to purchase any Supreme item, like for example, maybe some Supreme socks, some Supreme boxers, etc., etc., as well as secure your online identity when you are making online purchases. But I'll get into all of that in a moment. First, this is gonna be a longer video, so I just wanna hop right into it and start discussing this season. All right, so first up, let's look at the lookbook. Um, right here, you have what looks to be a coat shave from a Big Bird's ball sack. I'm not really a fan of how they did the lettering in fur as well, because it looks kind of like, I don't know, the lettering kind of look distorted and choppy. I would have much preferred like tackle twill actually stamped into it. And same with like the ribbing, like it's like fake varsity. It's like, the, I don't know, that part's kind of weird, but I think the jacket itself is kind of sick. Moving on, we have this. This is fire. Oh, that's Vance and leather. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm broke. I'm not paying a thousand dollars for that jacket, but that jacket looks sick and it's definitely one of the better Vance and Leathers that I've seen in quite some time. You have this Moo Cow, don't bother me. I'm not a fan of this. I don't know what this like velvet, bloodstained cow jacket it actually I kind of think it's fire. I'm like, I'm not even gonna lie. I am capping. That thing is actually hella sick. That is actually kind of the more I look at it, the more I'm like, mm, that's kind of fire. I see like the cow pattern, but honestly, it doesn't even really look like a cow pattern. It looks more like blood splatter. Like you just murdered the game. Did they do something similar to this like a season ago? I'm loving all these patches. Like this MLB collaboration is super fire. I like the American flag stuff. Obviously, you know, your boy's a patriot, a veteran. I did serve in the United States military. That being said, anyways, I like the American flag stuff for that reason, but also because it reminds me of like old Dipset era. Oh, that is hard. That is so sexy, bro. It's a fleece jacket. Ooh, you already know the face and the cool Boy. Oh. We need to look at the whole freaking range because some of the stuff is looking oh so sexy. We already went over this jacket. Like I said, it's cool, but I wish they would have done like an actual varsity jacket. I don't know why uh, Big Bird gave him the rights to use the uh, pubic hair from his ball sack. I'm not a big fan of like the Pittsburgh Pelican pubic hair freaking zip up. Uh, the way it works with the logo. I do like the jacket, but I don't know if I can cop because it's going to be $400 and like I just don't like the stripes and the way the logo looks. I love that color though. Like that color with the faux fur is so sick. Look at this suede patchwork hooded jacket. I promise you this is going to feel like, you know when you're rubbing your dog's belly and like he gets a boner? That's what this is gonna feel like. Like that's gonna feel absolutely orgasmic. So soft, <sighs> beautiful. You can play chess on that bitch. All right, this denim jacket says, uh hole punch i don't know i'm assuming it's like distressed all throughout um i thought it was kind of like stitched in or something so it looks like it's actually just a denim jacket that is distressed to have this look i think it looks pretty cool uh this blue one's probably a pass for me but this gold one might be a cop i'm definitely feeling this colorway Ooh, the whale corduroy return of the whale corduroy harrington jacket shout out to this moby dick masterpiece uh i actually ran into one of these pieces it was like a liz claiborne piece and it had the tag like all the, the washington instructions like 
like embroidered into the lining and I talked about this in a thrift store but you know what I'm saying save the whales cop yourself a corduroy jacket this cream one's looking oh so sexy and I might have to cop because of course it's got the classic logo embroidered on it too oh my god it looks gorgeous oh man here we have like the Riddler jacket the expensive ass jacket that I will not be able to afford uh that piece looks dope but yeah I'm gonna have to pass. Already talked about the puffer, the American flag. I don't know what this is. This looks like some uh, reality TV show logo. Uh, I don't, I'm not a fan of this. This is like a teen mom track jacket. Just not feeling this at all. The MLB shit is sexy. Is this black on black embroidery? Ooh, and they got the little box logo embroidery. I like the orange though the best because you see all the different, I need to get this. This is mandatory for the collection. I don't even watch baseball, but this is so fucking sick the track suits are okay they always do this though like it's not my favorite one and then we got this this is another vance and leather jacket why are they dropping two vance and leather jack i'm broke this is fire this waves work jacket you got this angry ass koi fish ready to gobble up any type of small snack that you throw in the water he is ready to devour that look at my man's just so angry i love these colors you see the little supreme box logo kind of like interrupted or uh obscured throughout the jacket and it's just this is fucking sick this is gorgeous the military trench coat and you already know in the paisley the pa I wish the Paisley was a little bit better and a little bit more sporadic, but nonetheless, you already know your boy is gonna have to cop. Is that like a Supreme metal pin? You already know we are banging tangerines over here. What else do we got? We got a solid, where's the black Paisley though? This is gorgeous, this is a smile now, cry later drama mask. I don't really like that they call it the drama mask, even though I know that's what it's called, but it just feels very clip art to me. Ooh, look at this Native American-esque little uh, hooded jacket. This thing is fucking sick. Shout my boy Josh, how you feel, how you feel? 25 cent on 25 mil, Supreme right there, Supreme right there. This is actually kind of fire. I could definitely, I'm not a big fan of the black one, but that green one looks so sick. Shirts, ooh, the Paisley Grid shirt, the printed logo shirt. Uh, I don't know what this is. They're doing the American, they're doing a lot of the same patterns. I was really excited for a second, but honestly, I just got down in like half the patterns they were doing on jackets. This is fire though. That's definitely mandatory. What colors does it come in? Of course, they did not do the black dirty this time. They got the red banging bloods. They got the black, I got the black, got the white, what you want? Got the green and the white. Someone could tie-dye that and make a filthy ass paisley tie-dye custom. Uh, right here, I feel like they did something similar to this with the uh, sweaters last season. Uh, this looks like that, like one of those monsters or whatever like from the what's that pixar movie i don't know uh over here you have some aliens you have that same monster right here and then some fucking weird ass alien look at this alien with this buff ass leg over here just ready to just kick the shit out of you for sweaters we got this new york skyline not a fan it looks like you got the comic book strip you already know grandpa jacob is gonna need this you feel me with the stars living the star life you dig i'm gonna be at the retirement fucking so many grandmas it's gonna be ridiculous i definitely need that in the collection this is kind of cool with the back logo it looks like they're doing a checkered one um honestly these colors are kind of shit we need to go to accessories because honestly these tops and sweaters are disgusting <laughs> BB Simon Bell, baby, that is fire. And the Oreo is real. Oh, a BMX derp. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, before we go on, um, there's already some items in the accessories. This accessories are definitely gonna be the hitters of this season. I do wanna say there's going to be a lot of items that I'll be trying to cop duplicates of. So it's the perfect time to talk about this video sponsor, which is privacy. And on top of that, I'm gonna teach you guys how to make five bucks. You guys already know this bike. This freaking uh, workstation, a lot of these accessories are gonna be a little expensive, but like for example, these Supreme Ziploc bags, you might be able to get for free by signing up for privacy and getting a free $5 to spend anywhere on the interwebs. Now basically what privacy allows you to do is create cards online that link to your bank account so that way your personal credit cards are not compromised when you are making online purchases. You guys know there are always stories of different hacks and different things that happen that cause people to obtain different credit card information or personal information and privacy actually prevents that from happening so that's why privacy is a great service to use when shopping online. Now maybe you are not concerned and you are a free spirit and you roam the world without using protections. Maybe you just like to live life on the edge. You don't drive with your seatbelt. You don't use condoms when you're making sweet love to your significant other. And just like those things where you are not safe, you also like to randomly risk your identity, your credit card information, and your address on the internet every time you go shopping. I don't know your life, but even if you are that type of individual, privacy has some other options or some other benefits that are afforded to you by using their service. Besides just making the $5 that yes, you you can spend anywhere on the internet. One thing that I personally like is that you can use them for subscription services. Things like Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, porn. 
all sorts of things. And what's great is you can sign up for these services using privacy and you can actually allot it so it can only charge you one time. So if you do sign up for a promotion, you wanna use it for a one time thing, like the story that I always use, which someone tried calling me out for this, which I guess they don't realize that you can have like an HBO streaming Hulu account, but I signed up for Hulu with the HBO streaming service. So that way I could watch Game of Thrones. I completely forgot to cancel my service. And of course I was charged like freaking, I don't even know how many months of Hulu and I didn't even want it. And that season sucked. So it was just a terrible situation. If I would have had privacy at the time, I could have signed up using privacy. I could have only allotted the one month fee to the privacy account. So it would have charged that one month and then the future privacy would have not allowed them to charge that card, which means they wouldn't have been able to charge you for a second month, a third month, a fourth month, a fifth month, et cetera, et cetera. And on top of that, you can use it to get duplicate orders of things that may limit your orders because it gets you an extra card. So you can use it to get duplicate orders on websites such as Supreme that restrict how many you purchase. There's just a bunch of different benefits, so there's no reason to not sign up. And on top of that, if you sign up using that link down below, you will get $5. Yes, it takes like literally two minutes out of your day and you'll get a free $5 to spend anywhere on the internet. You can go to Amazon, you can go to Supreme, you can go to any other website that you would like and use the $5 that Privacy will just give you for signing up using that link down below. So definitely take advantage of that while you can. All right, going into the accessories, we have the s and Supreme Bicycle. Let me just tell you, this is so sick to me. If you guys look at the chain wheel on the bicycle, it has more teeth. It's a bigger chain wheel than your standard BMX bike. And that's because this is for dirt. Now, when I used to BMX, that's what I used to ride. I am not good like on the streets. I can't do all the cool like tail whip shit. Like I, I just jumped dirt. Started riding bikes really young with my brother. I was never like super insane at it or anything. I just like jumping dirt. I like riding my bike around. Like that was what I did to relax. My bike was a GT Power Series 1.0. It was an aluminum frame. So it was a little bit lighter than this. This is 30 pounds. I think mine was like 24 pounds ish. This bike, however, is so freaking sick. I normally don't care about the super hyped items. I didn't care about the pulling bike. I didn't care about the pinball machine. I didn't care about the cruiser. I didn't care about the dirt bike or the Honda bike or whatever. I didn't care about none of that. This I actually care about and I'm hoping I get my hands on. I know it'll be hard because this is going to be one of the more limited items, but this is the one item that I really, really hope I can get my hands on and actually use and ride and hopefully never get stolen because obviously it's gonna be a crazy piece to have in the collection. The Supreme uh, Mac Tools workstation, so dope. I need this for when I get a house right now. I obviously live in a one bedroom apartment, but I'm gonna try to <laughs> replace some shelves with this because like, I just need this. I have no idea where I'm gonna put it, but I need this in the collection for sure. And I'm gonna have to use it to store clothes, which is gonna be really weird, but I gotta do what I gotta do. I need to make space for this. As you can see, it's got a little power strip up there. Super sick to see this, a cool collaboration. So that way when I do buy a house, my garage is gonna be looking real right. Skirt, real quick, uh, my battery died. So that's why the lighting is completely different because I had to charge my battery. Okay, now there's like an emergency next to my house. Why are there all these complications when I'm trying to record my video? But anyways, let's move forward. Uh, they're actually doing the Oreo cookie. I, I'm kind of surprised. Like, why is that a thing? I don't know how I feel about it. It feels kind of corny. It feels kind of like a cash grab, but at the same time, it's like, I guess like a little novelty item, especially with the timing of like all these exclusive foods. And I wish they would have just done something that's like a little bit more unique, maybe like green tea Kit Kats. Those are fire. Anyways, that being said, these will probably only be like, two, three, four dollars, like the price of the Luden's cough drops. And you'll probably be able to buy multiple packs. So if you wanna get a pack for free, like I said before, sign up for privacy using the link down below. And that little $5 they'll give you will get you a little thing of Supreme Oreo cookies. I'm just out here giving you guys free Supreme. You know what I'm saying? That's that's, all, that's what I do. Anyways, moving on, you have these binoculars. Uh, all I wanna say about these is they are produced by Leica. Leica is an amazing camera manufacturer, super top of the line, which means these are gonna be expensive. I think these are gonna be like $500, maybe even more. Then you have these like film, like little mini instant film things. This is so sick. I wish they would have done like film like this. I've been shooting on this little Canon point and shoot film camera. I'm just getting like little film shots, which has been super fun. And I like doing that. I wish, however, I could get some Supreme film for it, which would be dope. I mean, it's Fuji film but with Supreme branding. I guess I understand because at the end of the day, like there's really no place to brand except for the role of film. And once you get developed, you don't I don't know, I mean, I keep my rolls of film just in case, but for those of you guys that don't know what this is, essentially it's like a Polaroid. Uh, it's kind of like, just like this, right? This is a BAPE Polaroid camera. And uh, once you take a picture, it shoots out this white stuff, kind of like when you, uh, you know, jack off. Yes, uh, shooting uh, on a Polaroid or uh, instant film camera is like masturbating. And then you shake the thing 
But the only difference is that when you shake the thing, instead of white stuff coming out, white stuff disappears and the picture appears. And then, you know, with this one, you'll have a little Supreme box. So why are there all these emergencies? What's going on, bro? Is they world ending? Anyways, you got the BB Simon belt. This is super dope. I like the white one with the multicolored jewels next to the jewels. But that being said, honestly, I could get all three of them run the jewels. You feel me? Shout out to my man, Killer Mike. That white one's just way sicker with the uh, colored jewels. That's so clean. Moving on, you have the lawn chair. It's okay. You have like the woven uh, pattern. But but I don't know, I'm probably not gonna worry about that. You got this little blanket right here. This is so freaking sick. Depending on the price, I'm gonna get it. I don't know if it's gonna be like $100 though, so I might not, but regardless, super dope. Uh, these little basketballs, these basketballs are actually garbage. Uh, I have these basketballs over here. If you guys want some dope basketballs, uh, go follow Robotus and Poppy, R-O-B-I-T-U-S-S-I-N-P-A-P-I. -S 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 -I -I. I've been raffling off these Travis Scott sample basketballs yes samples the project was scrapped at least that's what i was told so i don't believe these will ever release and if they do i doubt they will release in these colors but i don't think they're ever going to release at all because as far as i was told the individual working on the product is there another emergency are you serious anyways as far as i was told the project was scrapped by nike but these basketballs are so freaking sick so if you would like a chance to win one go follow robotess and poppy r-o-b-i-t-u-s-s-i-n-p-a-p-i -I, -I, I already spelled it but you know what i'm saying i just like to show off my spelling abilities this basketball is garbage and i wish that they would have done something cooler like the gons basketball or the og basketball okay moving on anyways i'm talking really fast like an auctioneer and i'm probably gonna get these ziploc bags as well just because i'll probably put some of the people that win like smaller accessories i'll probably put their prize in like a little ziploc bag so i'll probably get a couple of these or at least as many as i can i think that's kind of dope you can also use this to store illegal narcotics or uh i don't know maybe like little things of weed cocaine really up your like you know drug dealing business if you'd like to cop the ziplocs we do have some protective items like this little catcher's protector chest protector it would be cooler to get a bulletproof vest but you know what i'm saying beggars can't be choosers can the supreme catcher's chest stop a 45 caliber bullet coming soon just kidding not ever gonna do that but like i said before when i was talking about privacy make sure you always use protection so if you play baseball get one of these if you ride the bike get one of these i swear i don't live in a dangerous neighborhood guys i don't know why all these like that's like three fire trucks two ambulances and some cop cars that's insane we got the ceramic bowl this is super dope look at that beautiful blue box look over and then you have like the milk spilling in. I mean, it, it, maybe it's milk, maybe it's something else. Supreme Stars Incense, this is cool. I actually have the original uh, Supreme Incense holder and Supreme Incense. Uh, I don't know how this one works. I don't know if this comes with incense and I don't know if you just light the incense and it lays flat because like I have several of these and this basically has the incense erect kind of like a, a penis and I also have an incense chamber, but I do not have one like this and this is pretty cool. My last name is obviously Star, so you know your boy needs to cop. The woven straw mat is dope. The the transparent lock is super sick if you need to learn how to pick locks or you know anything like that you know cop yourself one of these i wonder how this works this is so dope i wonder how durable it is and just like i don't know in general it's a really cool item to have and i think that the supreme transparent lock is definitely one of the cooler items these mugs are pretty cool you have a glow in the dark zippo the water bottle is cool they're bringing the red Sox back and i'm not talking about the baseball team baby now although the accessories are amazing the sweatshirts not so much, man. I'm not gonna lie. It's really disappointing. This shirt, this looks like some wannabe like cactus plant flea market shit. If this is puff print, then I'll be kind of like cool about it. I think it'll be kind of cool. If it's just a normal print, then I'm gonna be disappointed. It's just like, I don't know, bro. Some of this stuff is just so weak. Like this is okay, I guess. What are some of the other colors? Never mind. That's garbage. Uh, this would be cool if like a girl like cut those seams and change it from like a cut and sew crew neck to like a crop top i think that'd be kind of a gas piece yeah i don't know you can tell by my face a lot of this stuff is just garbage this right here is pretty dope i don't really like the colors though except for the creme de la creme and maybe that lavender you have the tape seam on the inside of the hood and then on the kangaroo pocket that like nice subtle branding but still like a cool piece to have um you have this right here with the lakers logo i don't know why they didn't do it in the lakers colorway though like that's that feels kind of weird i mean i know it's not the lakers logo but you know what i'm saying it's like the exact same font that the lakers use and it just feels really weird that there's no what no purple and gold Gross. Gross. That's disgusting. Like this is probably one of the worst Supreme pieces I've ever seen. I, the color choice is bad. Like everything is just bad. This is kind of cool. It's like a box logo, but like not. I don't know if this will count as a box logo. It doesn't say box logo, but that's new and I fuck with that. And I like that creme de la creme. Overall, I like the cutout logo. That's one of my favorite pieces. I like the Supreme bling hooded sweatshirt. I feel like I'm too broke to wear this though. Like, although it's like ones and twenties, still there's a lot of bling. That ice out Patek is probably worth more than my entire life. And um, I can't afford that. So it's like, I feel weird wearing it on a sweatshirt when I can't afford the actual things. The Naomi crew neck, super sick. I love this crew neck. Shorty looking so gorgeous on the front of that. Eyelid one, oh my god this thing is so 
I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. Like maybe if like you could do something cool with it and like maybe like different hoodie drawstrings through the eyelets and like make them hang down, make it look all crazy like the Sanjeev Rick Owens pants or something. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. It also depends whether or not it goes into the hoodie because then it's like it's kind of ruining the purpose. Uh, it's just it's strange. It's like distressed but not distressed. You have the over dyed. I love all this embroidery, but it just feels kind of like I'm buying a fake Supreme piece in China. The Supreme Motion logo is so beautiful. That yellow is is so sexy and the over dyed hoodie is nah 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 but the motion logo yeah 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 some of these pants are gorgeous like once again man like the waves regular pant or jean this is a jean who beautiful it's a pair of denim as my man paul kent would say fishes get you hella bitches and my belief this is no different this koi fish looking vicious oh damn low key that was a straight bar like you see how i like tacked on to my boy paul kent bars anyways this is fire. I like this piece a lot. I like all the obscured box logos with the angry koi fish looking for, uh, looking to gobble up some quarters. Um, but yeah, man, super sick piece. I love this corduroy. However, I do wish it was not a skate pan. I wish it wasn't cuffed at the bottom. The Supreme Paisley Grid ch ch Today, Junior? Why can't I say Chino? Chino is looking gorgeous. I actually might cop this in like two or three colors. I need the khaki. I need the navy. I might have to also cop the lavender and then black and olive. I might just cop all the whole freaking set. You know how I love Paisley. I'm partial to anything that's got Paisley on it. The Supreme pleated trouser looking sexy. Look at that pussy pink colorway looking gorgeous. I wish I had like a matching jacket to go with this, but I might have to cop that because that's just looking too freaking sexy. The work pant, um, this is kind of cool. I would probably, I might cop the Patreon one right here for the 4th of July fit picks. But yeah, they killed it with the pants. They killed it with the accessories. A lot of the other sections are kind of lacking. The best example I can use to explain how much they're lacking is the hats because it's like they did nothing but six panels. And if you would have asked me like three, four years ago, I would have begged Supreme to do a six panel. However, it's like there's timing to this shit. I just feel like at this point, it's like why even do them so consistently? Like you did one six panel last season. It did really well. And then you just dropped more six panels than you did your OG hats. Like to me, that's weird. Like it just feels very forced. I normally don't like the hats, but this season I like the hats even less, even though they're more along the lines of what I would wear. Well, not really, because I wouldn't wear a lot of these like yeah, I wouldn't wear that. A lot of the curve rooms are still trash. Like my favorite one is this one right here, the corduroy curve room that says Supreme. Just super clean, super subtle. I like that like royal red and that white right there. That stone color looks freaking sexy. And the beanies are even worse. Like the, this, the hats this season are just a total flop to me. I'm sure they'll do good because a lot of people have been wanting them to do curve rooms for quite some time. Um, that being said, I just feel like they went about it all wrong. The bags aren't terrible. I don't really like this duffel bag right here, but I mean, the backpack's okay. I think it's better than last season's. It's still not not my favorite. The waist bag and shoulder bag is pretty cool. They're doing a messenger bag. The utility pouch is kind of sick. This freaking wicker basket tote right here, all weaved up in and out so you can go to your organic or organic grocery store flexing on them. If you can't afford the Louis Vuitton big ass fucking purse thing, you could just, you know, get this Supreme one and go with like the whole hippie vibe, you know, get the straw hat, all that. Um, bars low key again, boy, utility pouch. This is kind of cool. I do like these. I feel like the see-through thing works for utility pouches, not for duffel bags. The Vance and leather, like little shoulder bag thing, this is cool, too expensive for me. And like, if I'm gonna spend that kind of money, like I just go all out and get like a Dior shoulder bag or a Louis Vuitton shoulder bag, like a used one, you know? The messenger bags, it's cool they're doing a messenger bag. I probably won't cop. And then like I said, the shoulder bags and the waist bags are really the only bags that I think are better than previous seasons. And I think that overall the bags are decent, but nothing too crazy. I wish these were pants, but I still don't like that graphic being done the way it was. They dropped these in pants. These are cool, but not the colors. These are cool, but I'm broke. Okay, like a lot of this stuff is just, these are garbage. But yeah, a lot of the stuff in the shorts department, it's spring, summer, like I expected more for the shorts section. I honestly don't know how I feel about this season. I think there's definitely some heaters. It just depends on what section you're looking at. Obviously they killed the accessories. They killed the pants. I think they did a really good job but there's definitely a lot of sections that I think they're lacking in. I think the jackets are okay. The sweatshirts and a lot of the other sections are weak as fuck in my opinion, but I don't know, maybe that'll change. Obviously this is my first time looking at the preview. Who knows what's to come? You guys can let me know how you guys think this season compares to previous seasons. I definitely think it's a decent season. Like don't get shit twisted. I know I kind of ended it on a negative note. I think overall it's a pretty good season. I'm kind of curious to see what they do with the collabs. The Tupac hologram collab kind of has me disappointed and not too hopeful, but I'm hoping that the other collabs are fire and um 
yeah, either way, the accessories are gas and all I need is that bike. If I get that bike this season and nothing else, I will be happy. Okay, maybe not completely happy because I do want those uh, like Paisley grid pants too. Ooh, those are fire. <laughs> Anyways, let me know what you guys think of this season down in the comments below. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Thank you guys so much for watching. I apologize this video is a little bit longer than normal, but of course I had a lot to go over. And as always, keep it in the star life. Peace the fuck out.